mother calls police for three-year-old daughter. The reason is unbelievable. Raising children can be wonderful, but it's certainly not the easiest thing in the world. Meet today a mother who, realizing that she couldn't control her daughter, called the police. What did the girl do? Was it really something that serious? Leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and let's go to the story. When a woman is pregnant, the last thing she thinks is that she might have a problem with her baby, as the main concerns are choosing the color of the room, putting together the trousseau, and wondering what the new member of the family will look like. However, a couple from the city of Mooresville, North Carolina, had a terrible surprise. Can you imagine what the surprise is? Heather and her husband Riley couldn't wait for their baby to be born. However, everything turned upside down when they visited the doctor for one of the routine checkups and he gave them some bad news. The doctor told the Delaney's that they would not have just one child, but two. Until then, that was great news, right? But the doctor kept talking and delivered the shocking news that the babies were joined at the head. The twins were connected at the top of the skull, which is actually one of the rarest ways for conjoined twins to be born. Heather no longer cared about the babies being stuck together. The only thing she wanted at that moment was to know if the babies would survive. After a few more months, the delivery day arrived. Heather was hospitalized for a C-section. The babies were born alive and that shocked the doctors, as the chances were very slim. Although the babies were born that way, Heather and Riley loved and always took care of them until they started to think about the option that neurosurgeon Gregory Hoyer had given the couple. In one of the consultations, he informed that it was possible to separate the babies, but the surgery could be fatal and end up taking the lives of their daughters. They'd thought a lot for all those months since the girls were born if that was the right decision. What if they ended up losing their daughters? These doubts lasted a long time until they made the decision to leave their daughters' lives in God's hands. When the couple decided to have the surgery, medical preparations began to be made with the babies. And on the long-awaited day, a large team of 30 surgeons and nurses separated little Aaron and Abby Delaney. They were already 11 months old. This would be one of the riskiest surgeries Dr. Gregory would do in his medical life. The girls shared a specific part of the skull and, in addition, a very important blood vessel. After the delicate surgery, the twins were placed in an induced coma for a week. This procedure was designed to help their brains recover from the separation. A few days later, it was time to stop the coma, and Aaron was the first to come out of that state. A few hours later, it was Abby's turn. The surgery went very well, however, Aaron was luckier than her sister. Unfortunately, Abby had more difficulties recovering and suffered from a severe brain hemorrhage with cases of three respiratory viruses and an infection. These complications kept her in the hospital much longer. On a very special day, the two were released just before Thanksgiving, they'd finally get to know their house. The couple was ecstatic. That day remained in their memories as one of the happiest days of their lives. We're sure it won't take long for these beautiful girls to fully develop. The twins are late because of the time they've been connected, but we here at Super Curious are hopeful that they'll soon make up for lost time. Anyone who's ever had children in a car knows how difficult it is to control them, especially when they're agitated. Michelle knew this all too well, especially since she had two very hyperactive children. At home, they didn't sit still for a minute and always invented new games to run all the time. It was very difficult even for the woman to put them to sleep. Michelle was the mother of three-year-old Camille and a very young boy, too. Even though they looked like mini hurricanes, she loved them very much and did everything for them. And this mother, who resides in the state of Arizona in the United States, would make a big decision without thinking about the consequences. One day, the woman decided to take the children for a walk. Her plan was to make the children a little tired by playing so they wouldn't stay up late at night, as this was very common. Michelle put the two children in the back seat of the car and, as usual, buckled her seatbelt and drove to the park. Along the way, her children began to fight a lot. At first, the woman just looked in the rearview mirror and didn't say anything. After all, that was very common behavior for them, so she thought they'd calm down soon. However, the children's screaming extended a little more and even looking in the rearview mirror, she couldn't understand what was happening. They seemed to be screaming for no reason. Until her son cried out in desperation, Mommy, Mommy, Camille! 
The little boy was talking about his three-year-old sister. The girl was out of control and doing something very risky. There was no way Michelle could continue driving, so she stopped the car in the nearest spot. What her daughter did was unacceptable, and she tried to scold her for her attitude, but the little girl didn't take her mother seriously. Her daughter couldn't stop laughing and ignoring her. Michelle, trying not to lose her temper, drove towards her house, and when she arrived, she remained inside the car with her children. What the woman did as soon as she got home was something most mothers would never do with their children. The mother realized that she would no longer be able to handle her daughter, so she took the necessary measures. Michelle decided to ask for help. Mom called the Scottsdale Police Department. At first, the woman was afraid that the police might believe it was a prank call. However, fortunately, she was wrong. The police took her request seriously and helped her, as they believed that the situation was going through required action by the authorities. But would that mother regret her decision when the police car arrived? A few minutes after Michelle called, two police officers, who answered the call, arrived and stopped the car in front of the family home. Some neighbors found the movement of police cars strange, but they watched from afar, trying to understand what those lawmen wanted. However, from a distance, they would hardly understand what was actually happening. The officers knocked on the car door and immediately asked to speak to Camille, and they were surprised to see how young the little girl was. They didn't even know how to explain to the little one why her mother had called them. They politely asked the little girl to get out of the car so they could chat with her. The reason they went there to get that desperate mother was because little Camille didn't want to wear her seatbelt. As the little girl was very small, they bent down to be at her height and explained that if a driver was not paying attention and hit her mother's car, she could get very hurt or even lose her life. Camille looked scared as she didn't say a word as she listened to the cops speak. Furthermore, police said it was against the law to take off your seatbelt while the car's in motion and that she could be in trouble. The plan that was quickly thought up by that mother worked, and Camille finally understood that she shouldn't do that anymore. The little girl said, I'm always going to wear a seatbelt and I won't take it off until mom stops the car. Before leaving, the police took pictures with the children and shared them on social media, saying that this event was an excellent opportunity to teach a valuable lesson, not only to Michelle, but to all the other children, and especially instructing children that wearing a seatbelt is as important as obeying their parents. Stories about children and police officers are more common than we think. As for example, in this story where a boy slides a note on the policeman's desk and the man jumps out of his chair when he reads it. Click on the video that's appearing on your screen and you'll be surprised.